So if you opened a helper and the first thing you did was this, let's talk about it because you know there's a lot of things that's happening inside of the helper and systems that we're forcing to behave as systems that they are not and really it's quite nice to see them all play together but understanding it will definitely help you have a better experience whenever it comes to the mini helper so we'll jump over to box for formality's sake and also because box has an additional shape modifier we could talk about so we talked about our shapes we talked about snap how you can enable snap and have a snap ribbon on the fly or a snap slider and then now we're talking about shape modifiers so these are different from our actual modifiers which are what we consider start states what i mean by this is that we can actually click and drag through all of these to enable them at once however we can't have solidify mirror array and bevel all enabled at the same time however we'll more than likely be talking about that in the future that doesn't mean that you can't have solidify and array at the same time it just means that you have to draw out in an array shape and then you add a bevel to it and then you add a mirror to it and then you add a solidify to it all in succession as you're working you can't do it as a pre-draw state because it would result in a pretty wacky shape in fact for example because we have these three all enabled at the same time let's just also put array in there and let's just see how terrible it comes out so this is what happens whenever you wedge and you taper and you box grid and you array all at the same time However, once we begin extruding, things look a lot more sane. So I feel that we could probably just make the 2D state of this particular situation look a lot better, but you know, that's a story for another day. But as you can see, you can actually start with multiple start states and we can press V, V to turn this into a radial array, or we could have actually went in and toggled the behavior for radial array inside of the helper and then adjusted the distance using a parameter. However, Whenever it comes to these modifiers, it's just important to point out that they are start state still. And in fact, as you hover over them, they say start operation, meaning that you can have this as your start operation whenever you're working, and that will just be a thing. However, unlike shape modifiers, you can't have them all turned on at once, but more than likely we'll be addressing this in the future. But if I wanted to draw a shape that was already pre arrayed I can and then if I want to bevel it I would just press B in order to just begin adjusting the bevel and then I could just always press D and even go in here at this point and add a bevel and begin adjusting it in the viewport whenever I click it drops it into a pause state allowing me to press D and go in and adjust things more intimately like control scrolling over the segments or control scrolling over the width in order to grow it or shrink it but we can also get in here and shift drag on the array in order to adjust this distance and even control scroll over the axes to change which axes that we're dealing with so there's a lot more versatility whenever it comes to dealing with stacking these things by multiple so we'll be seeing how the future comes for it but more than likely that's one of the first things you'll notice whenever you're using a new helper is that you can toggle through all of these you can stack all of these but you can only toggle through all the modifiers and it's a very popular question as to why we don't have the ability to support multiple modifiers at this time and it's just something of a rewrite that we're going to have to do on one of our previous systems but we'll be revisiting it in due time 